Hello everyone. Now we are going to discuss the process to solve projection of planes problem. So basically there are three steps which we have to follow while solving the projection of plane problems. First we have to draw the true shape as per given condition. Second make surface angle and third one make edge base or side angle. So how to apply these steps that we are going to discuss with the help of example. So the example given is a thin rectangle plate of sides 50 mm by 25 mm is resting on HP on one small side which is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the H to the VP while the surface of the plane makes 45 degree inclination with HP. So here the rectangle plane is resting on one small side and that small side is resting on HP. So in order to draw true shape, first we need to keep the rectangle in HP and we have to keep it in a such a way that its small side should be at left hand side so that we can lift the rectangle or we can rest the rectangle on that particular side. So as per the given information, we are going to draw the true shape. So to draw rectangle, you can use the polyline command. And I'm going to use red color to draw this rectangle. So here at sufficient distance because distance from VP is not given. So I can take sufficient distance from XY line. And I click over here. I travel in downward direction at distance 25, which is a small side. And we have to keep small size to the left hand side. Press enter. Then I enter 50. Press enter. Again 25. Enter. And connect these two ends. So this is the rectangle that we draw. Also draw the projections from here. When you see in a front view, so you can see only line. So I can draw a line which is visible in a front view. And as the rectangle is resting on HP, so this line will be on XY line. So I make these projections faint. Immediately I enter the text. I use the text command to enter text. I specify height as 3.5, angle of rotation as 0, and I am going to add the names. So this is point A, this is point B, this is point C, and this one is point D. So from here, we get a point A dash B dash in a front view. And this is point D dash C dash. So this is the first step that is over that we draw a true shape as per the given condition as it is resting on one small side in HP. So we keep this small side AB to left hand side. And we complete the projection. Now secondly, we have to make the surface angle. And surface angle given is a 45 degree with HP. So now I'm going to copy this line along with the nomenclature. Select line, click on copy, click on any point and move this in a forward direction. Place it at sufficient distance and just click. Press escape. Now we have to rotate this object about this point. And that angle of rotation should be 45 degree. So now again, I'm going to select this line. And I'm going to open rotate command. So it asked me to specify base point. So this AB is a base point. I click on it. And I enter the angle value as 45. So now you can check the angle. For giving dimensions, I use this red color, black color. 
so this is 45 also show the dimensions of this rectangle so i use linear dimension so this distance is 25 and the length is 50 so this distance is also 50 so in this way we make the surface angle so as the surface angle is made so when you see the object from top then definitely this total length is going to be compressed so now i can draw a projections from a dash b dash and c dash d dash also i am going to draw projections from this a d and b c I am going to make these projection lines faint. Select the lines and select this faint color. And then draw this new position by using polyline command and taking red color. Now I can trim extra lines. So this is the top view visible once the surface of the rectangle makes angle 45 now this distance is 25 it is remain as it is we check this new distance so you can show this new distance for that you can use the black color so this new distance is 35 also add the nomenclature Specify start point, click anywhere. Specify height as 3.5, angle of rotation as 0. So this is point A. I take red color. So D text. Start point 3.50. So this is A, B. This is point C and this one is point D. So here the second step is over that we made the surface angle. And now last step we have to make edge or base angle or side angle. So side angle in the statement given as 30 degree. Now this side AB is going to make this particular angle. So now we are going to copy this object along with nomenclature. We just click on copy. You can specify any base point and copy the object at sufficient distance from its original position. Press escape. Now we have to rotate this object in a such a way that this AB it should make an angle 30 degree. Now we are going to use rotate command. We can select the object and open rotate command while selecting object make sure that nomenclature is also selected so this a is a base point about which we have to rotate the entire plane then after clicking on this a you just click on this reference don't specify rotation angle directly over here this rotation will be a wrong rotation if you specify direct angle over here so you have to click on reference after clicking on reference again don't specify the reference angle directly first we have to define the references so this base point that is a is our first reference so click on that then here we get the guideline that we have to specify second point and b is our second point then enter angle 30 now this AB is rotated at an angle 30. So we can measure that angle. And select black color. So this angle is 30. So the rotation is OK. So now I move this object in upward direction by opening move command. Select the object. Click on move make sure that this ortho mode is on so that it will travel in exact vertical direction press escape 
now i can show the angle so this angle is 30 don't forget to show this angle it is important then take the projections from a so this is projection of a then take projection from b it will meet the projector of b dash over here take projection of c make sure that ortho mode is on while taking projections so that we get exact vertical lines also take the projections from d dash c dash already we have a dash b dash projection because a dash b dash this point exists on x y so all projections projection lines are present over here now we select all these projection lines and we make them faint now we define the points so you can add text the text click anywhere to specify start point height of text as 3.5 angle of rotation as 0 so this is a project projector of a this is the projector of a dash so this is the point new position of a dash i select a red color for text <laughs> start point again i repeat the process and here so this is new position of a dash this is new position of b dash this one is a new position of c dash and this one is a new position of d dash now you can connect these points by using polyline just opt this ortho mode a dash b dash c dash d dash and a dash now i can trim the extra projection lines and now we can show the angle i use black color for that So this angle is 63 and also I can show any one of the length yeah, so the length is 22 okay so this is the entire solution of the problem thank you